body bags were Horlies. What's up, y'all? W Devils at you again. Another week on the body bags. Uh, this week's theme is Killer Games Week. Um, so I think anything uh, that involves maybe tasks for their survival, uh, there's some like game show, theme horror flicks. Um, you know, maybe the Saw franchise, stuff like that would probably fall into this. Um, Killer Games Week. Um, so cool one. And this week I picked for you is 13 Game of Death. Um, it's from Thailand, 2006. And I believe it just recently got an American remake called 13 Sins. I haven't seen that one, but... Um, so, I mean, the fact that it's got a remake, it's got some notoriety, I believe, and a lot of people probably know it. Um, I actually highly suggest this six pack if you don't have some of these flicks. They're all individual discs. Way to go on this. But anyway, uh, 13 Game Dev. It uh, follows main character named Chit, C H I T. And uh, it's following his life, and he, he is just having the day from hell, and it seems like everything is just going wrong. Um, his girl, his girl's leaving him to become a pop star. Like she's getting too big for him, I guess. Um, his his mother is borrowing uh, huge sums of cash off of him, left and right. So he's and he's already in debt up to his eyeball. And then of course he is uh, working at this uh, some office job. He's doing like computer coding or something, and uh, he gets fired from that. Um, one of his co-workers there is a girl uh, who is really looking out for his best interest and uh, I don't know if there's there's this attraction there there's just a good friendship um, she's she's trying to help him out and just be there for him and he's not he's having a hard time giving her any mind because he's just having the day from hell um, um, I'm not gonna butcher her name but um, she you know she's got his back through the throughout the whole flick so it's it's a cool uh dynamic there i think with those two characters but anyway um it said he's having the day from hell he gets a random phone call and it says that he is a uh, contestant on a new game show and you know he thinks he's being bs by him and he's like don't believe him then they proceed to tell him uh detailed information like how much debt he's in and this kind of thing so he finally wises up and you know it's, it's, you know, he's taking credibility, at least to the caller. It's a very mysterious call, um, other than he knows he's on game show. Um, he has to kill up. He's, uh, for his first task on the game show, they say, just kill a fly and here's a newspaper, and you'll get $10,000. Um, so he does that, um, but slowly but surely, uh, he's playing the game. He decides to join on. And he finds that there's rules where he can't. He has to be very secretive about what he's doing. Uh, he can't ask him questions about who is this talking to him. What what is this game show? Like he's he's kind of left other out in the open. Other than he's getting cash and he's able to check his account balance and he knows for sure he's getting cash for this. So he he's continuing with the games. Like I said, um, as you imagine, though, from killing a fly, it becomes uh, just make making three kids cry. Um, then he has to eat a disgusting dish, and I mean, it just starts snowballing big time until, you know. And the tasks start becoming more personal to his past and his life, because they obviously do know um, a lot about his life, whoever's running this game show. Uh, I don't want to give too much away, but um, pretty fun escalation flick, though. I think, you know, like I said, the, the tasks, as you can imagine, just get a little worse and worse, and so you're... It's fun kind of guessing what what's next, you know, what are they going to throw on him now? Um, and is he going to do it? Is he going to go through with it? And, uh, you know, sure enough, just see how far and what links people will do for money. Ultimate, uh, you know, ultimately a flick about greed, I think, more or less than anything else. Um, but 13, Game of Death. I, I highly suggest it. I thought it was a fun flick. Um, Dimension Extreme, as I said. I'd give it a solid uh, 8 out of 10. 
uh, if you're all looking out for some killer game flicks, I think this is one that I would definitely check out. So, peace out, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Have a good week.